installation of e-track in a utility trailer mine's eight and a half by 14. here i'm taking off the 3 8 cover piece for between the seams because i'm going to be laying e-track at four and a half foot and at a 22 inch and these are measurements to the bottom of the e-track my trailer's seven foot tall so i didn't put just a single one at the four foot level because last week i actually wound up having to haul some lower stuff and I really needed some E-Track at the lower side, and so I made the decision to put some on. This is measuring at uh, 54 inches to the bottom of the E-Track, and then 22 inches on the lower one to the bottom of the E-Track. This is number 14 by one inch stainless steel wood screw, bought it off Amazon. This is a number 14 by one and a quarter self-tapping stainless also bought off Amazon. And this is an E-Track protecting end, also bought off Amazon. And that's for the back where you come in the trailer so that your hand or anything doesn't catch on the back of the E-Track. You can see right there. This is using the number 14 by inch and a quarter self tappers. You can see a little bit of pressure from the impact gun and it goes right in. Didn't fight us at all, went in very easily. Then between each of the studs, minor 16 inches on center, I put in one above and one below on the number 14 by one inch wood screws, and I put them between that. I did not do every other one, but I did in the center between the studs. So actually, if you're counting over the holes, there's three holes, then I placed a wood screw and three more holes until you get the inch and a quarter that has to bolt into the walls. This is my E-Track on the upper portion, and this is the E-Track on the lower portion. Both of them are done. The other side was done exactly the same. And then I did not put the um, drywall back on, or the plywood, I will be skinning it with smooth drywall.